Wisdom Chapter 12 Therefore you rebuke offenders little by little. Warn them, and remind them of the sins they are committing, that they may abandon their wickedness and believe in you, Lord. For truly, the ancient inhabitants of your holy land, whom you hated for deeds most odious, works of sorcery and impious sacrifices, these merciless murderers of children, devourers of human flesh, and initiates engaged in a blood ritual, and parents who took, with their own hands defenseless lives, you willed to destroy by the hands of our ancestors, that the land that is dearest of all to you, might receive a worthy colony of God's servants. But even these you spared, since they were but mortals, and sent wasps as forerunners of your army, that they might exterminate them by degrees. Not that you were without power, to have the wicked vanquished in battle by the righteous, or wiped out at once by terrible beasts, or by one decisive word, but condemning them by degrees. You gave them space for repentance. You were not unaware that their origins were wicked, and their malice ingrained, and that their dispositions would never change. For they were a people accursed from the beginning. Neither out of fear for anyone. Did you grant release from their sins? For who can say to you, what have you done? Or who can oppose your decree? Or when peoples perish? Who can challenge you, their maker? Or who can come into your presence? To vindicate the unrighteous? For neither is there any God, besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned, nor can any king or prince confront you, on behalf of those you have punished. But as you are righteous, you govern all things righteously. You regard it as unworthy of your power, to punish one who has incurred no blame. For your might is the source of righteousness. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might. When the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke insolence. But though you are master of might. You judge with clemency. And with much lenience you govern us. For power whenever you will, attends you. You taught your people, by these deeds, that those who are righteous must be kind. And you gave your children reason to hope, that you would allow them to repent for their sins. For these were enemies of your servants, doomed to death. Yet, while you punished them, with such solicitude and indulgence, granting time and opportunity to abandon wickedness. With what exactitude you judged your children, to whose ancestors you gave, the sworn covenants of goodly promises. Therefore to give us a lesson, you punish our enemies with measured deliberation, so that we may think earnestly, of your goodness when we judge. And, when being judged, we may look for mercy. Second example resumed. Hence those unrighteous who lived a life of folly. You tormented through their own abominations. For they went far astray in the paths of error. Taking for gods the worthless. And disgusting among beasts. Being deceived like senseless infants. Therefore as though upon unreasoning children, you sent your judgment on them as a mockery. But they who took no heed of a punishment, which was but child's play, were to experience a condemnation worthy of God. 
for by the things through which they suffered distress. Being tortured by the very things they deemed gods. They saw and recognized the true God. Whom formerly they had refused to know. With this, their final condemnation came upon them.